Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays wherever you may be watching this video from. Today, I have a very special video for you. Longtime viewers of the channel and some big fans might know, I had some very unique videos back in the day when I was in college where I just kind of recorded and made a video for whatever the hell I felt like. And back then, I made two amazing videos back in the day about me doing a milk review, a taste test, for some flavored milk and I thought for this holiday season I would do a tribute just to give you guys a holiday gift to spread the cheer we do a nice throwback to that those videos back in college of course were very poorly framed poorly edited poorly lit and I thought why not just do all that stuff again to show in the several years I've been doing YouTube the quality hasn't changed and I'm still giving you the same great content so instead of some milk we have something very similar of course today I bring you some eggnog and because I'm a little bit older now, some Jameson to give it a shot. I've actually never had either of these things. You might even be able to see the condensation on these bottles because it's hot as fuck in this apartment and, you know, I gotta record this video. So, I've never had regular eggnog, never had Jameson, so I'm gonna give you a blind taste review on both of these things. Now this is, I'm not expecting quality, some Walmart brand, Prairie Farms, Eggnog, uh, I'm not expecting anything stellar out of this. You can see how the attitude has changed in these videos as well. I was very adamant that I would get that True Moo sponsorship for the milk in those videos back in the day, and uh, that shit didn't happen. So now, I just, you know, we're gonna just speak our mind and how things taste and how things feel. But it's also just been a while since I've done like a regular video instead of a live stream, so maybe I've lost my touch. Look at that. What a thick pour. How juicy. I don't have a proper, like, film setup, so I can't, like, bring the camera in. And like most YouTubers, I don't have someone that's, like, recording this video for me. So, I don't know why I just reached over everything for them. I don't have anyone that can, like, spin the camera around for me. So you were just gonna have to go with whatever I got. The one mounted position that I have my camera in. And by the way, it's just my phone, and I'm using Play-Doh to hold the phone up. But, <laughs> you gotta get creative sometimes. All right, so this is just the eggnog itself. It kind of almost looks like a milkshake. I'm Like I said, I've never had eggnog, so I <laughs> didn't know what it was like. And it just seems like there's like stuff in it. I don't know what that is. Is that the egg for the nog? I don't know. This, it's also very clear that this is non-alcoholic. I couldn't find alcoholic eggnog. I don't know why. Maybe just because everything's shut down and Walmart's the only place open. Which is why we have the Jameson. But we're gonna just try a regular eggnog first and see what it's like. It's okay. Not great. It kind of tastes like milk that's thick. Mostly just cream, really. There's a little bit of egg to it, I suppose. A little bit of like a nutmeg flavor. I guess that must be what they mix in. I don't know if there are even ingredients listed on this thing. Milk, sugar, cream, egg, spices, salt. I don't, what are spices? I assume that's nutmeg, right? And then a bunch of other like different terms for sugar because I'm sure this just has hella sugar in it. Half a cup is 180 calories. Fun fact, I don't know if you can even see that, but I'm gonna, I'll give you that close-up zoom in on the uh, ingredients label, because I know that's what you're here for. But, not bad. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's like a melted milkshake. Yeah. Like a melted vanilla milkshake that someone put nutmeg in, or like some holiday spices, some holiday cheer, holiday love for you guys. Now let's add a little bit of Jameson. Now, I've heard great things about Jameson, but I noticed that it's also pretty cheap, so I'm not sure that it's gonna be great, but I've got my little double shot glass here that has gone unused for a long time, since the Persona 5 Royal Streams, and uh, we'll use this to measure out the drink. I think two shots is probably good. We're not, I'm not a bartender. I'm not gonna skimp. Oh, I just spilled it all over the, <laughs> it turns out it's not good to pour from a shot glass. 
I just spilled that shit all over the table. Whatever, what can you do, right? Uh, let's try that again. I was trying to be slow and artsy with the pour, but because this shot glass is a fucking square, turns out being slow and artsy with the pour doesn't work. <laughs> so that shit just went everywhere. I didn't anticipate me spilling this shit, so I didn't bring a paper towel or like a towel to clean this up. Um, so we're just gonna roll with it. I just got whiskey all over my ugly sweater that I'm supposed to wear to work tomorrow for the ugly sweater contest. So can't wait to, uh, cause it's like 10 o'clock at night when I'm recording this video. Um, I don't have time to watch this. So <laughs> I can't wait to come to work smelling like alcohol tomorrow. That's surely not gonna raise any questions, whatever. I don't care, no judgment. I'm also using a chopstick to stir the the Jameson into this eggnog because again, very professional. I've got all the materials and tools I need for a successful video. But at least I have nice chopsticks. Oh, this is just, it's just running down the table. I can tell that it's not level in my apartment. Some of you lung viewers might also recognize this table as the same table I had in college. I've kept it with me all these years. I got this kitchen table for 20 bucks and I've kept it. It's like literally the cheapest cardboard you will ever see. There's like divots all over the place and scratches on it that you'll probably can even see in the video if you look closely. This is a really piece of crap table but I just don't care enough to get another one. And you know what, fuck it. Right in that, in the table. I'm gonna have to clean this up after the video anyway. <laughs> I've lost track of how much alcohol is in here. God, what a mess. I can't believe this video came. <laughs> this is gonna be a mess. <laughs> Whatever. Let's try it with the Jameson. I put maybe two shots in here. Maybe two shots made it into the glass. It looks darker now. It looks like there's whiskey in here. So I'm gonna say two shots are now in here. It's definitely more than two shots. It's just the whiskey now. That's all I taste. There, there is no longer eggnog. This is just Jameson. <laughs> oh well. Nothing like a, nothing spreads a little holiday cheer like some Jameson, right? I only have to be to work in five hours. That's not true. Math is hard. It's ten o'clock. Oh yeah, I do have to be at work in like five hours. Or wake up for work in five hours anyway. That's okay. Overall, it's pretty good. I wonder what it just tastes like just Jameson. I mean, I think it tastes the same, right? What if we just drink from the bottle? I mean, I've already spilled all over the place, so I guess just drinking from the bottle won't make me look any less classy. Yeah. It's a little bit stronger if I just drink the Jameson Plain, but not much. Either I put a lot more than two shots into this eggnog, or the Jameson cuts through the eggnog like nothing. And it, cause it tastes no different, except this is a little bit thicker. It's maintained the eggnog consistency, not the whiskey consistency. Yeah. That's gonna be my review, I guess. It's good. It's like a melted milkshake. Tastes like some nutmeg, I think, is what we were getting there. That must be the main ingredient for eggnog. I never drink eggnog for the holidays, so I don't really know and I don't really care. Um, I should have done research before, but I figured we would just do the blind taste test. Let's see if I could guess the natural flavors of the eggnog. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Just wanted to do a quick fun video for you guys. Again, wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to do a fun little throwback video like this. I'd like to start doing more like regular videos like this instead of just streams if I get the time. Uh, so let me know if you would, in the comments or in the Discord channel, if you would enjoy more videos like this because they're fun to make, I think, as long as I don't spill everywhere and have to clean this shit up. I don't have a production crew. I gotta clean this, man. That's fine. Either that or my apartment will just smell like whiskey. So, thanks for watching again. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the throwback. That's just as classy as always. I'll do my usual outro stuff here again. Subscribe, hit the bell button if you're new. For whatever reason, my milk videos get recommended more than 
any other video on the channel, so hopefully this gets just as recommended. And if you are new, subscribe and hit the bell button. Uh, like the video too, that always helps. I just appreciate some likes. Then be sure to join our Discord channel as well. That link is in the description below. You can become a member to support the channel. It's just like a Twitch sub, which I know this is a video, so you're thinking, why a Twitch sub? But I mostly just stream video games on this channel because that's a lot of fun. You get a badge next to your name in the chat. You get to use cool emojis, all that fun stuff. So cheers to all my members. <sighs> yep, that's just Jameson with like a thicker consistency. <laughs> don't even taste the nutmeg, don't taste the eggnog, don't taste the milk anymore, it's just Jameson. I hope you loved this wonderful disaster. I hope the new year 2021 is better for everyone, especially you guys watching the channel. I appreciate you all. I love this community that we've grown this year ever since like, you know, the beginning of 2020. While it might've been a chaotic year, it's been fantastic and the most fun I've had on YouTube in a really long time, thanks to all you guys. So I love you all. And that's all the it for all the mushy gushy stuff from me. And I'll see you guys around.